Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. This video is going to be on something I get asked about a lot. Mandy, I want to go and start playing with others, but I'm scared. I'm not sure what to do. Can you give me some help and maybe some tools to uh, help me so that I'll be better prepared? I can, okay? So here's what you need to do, all right? You need to have a little repertoire of songs, okay? In your, in your toolbox that you know how to play, okay? And those songs need to be what are commonly jammed, the songs that are commonly played. Now, that's gonna vary all over the place, everywhere you go. So what, what should you do first before you ever go try to play at a jam session? And you're not gonna hear a lot of people talking about this, but what you should do is you should go to the jam without your instrument. Why would I do that? Well, so you can learn what you need to learn, right? Okay, so go to your jam session. First of all, you may find that you don't really have an interest in whatever they're playing, and you might need to go find another one, okay? So we don't really need to waste our time, as far as that's concerned, going somewhere, learning all these songs, showing up with our instrument ready to play and then we find out oh well this wasn't really the jam i was looking for to begin with you can scout out these things okay show up to it bring a piece of paper and a pen all right listen grab your lawn chair listen enjoy the jam session make some friends talk to some people hey what do they usually play here i'm just learning how to play blank banjo, mandolin, dulcimer, whatever. And I want to come to some jam sessions trying to figure out what to learn. Well, somebody might tell you, or you can just listen and write down the songs that they're playing. And if you, especially if you enjoy one of them, write that one down. It's very common in jam sessions for them to play the same songs over and over again. Sure, new songs will come in. Some songs they might not play every single time, but a lot of songs will repeat and it's a lot of fun to do that, okay? So, go there and listen first before you ever take your instrument. I think I'm the only one that you're ever gonna hear that from, all right? So, it's 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 a good thing um, to do that. And, and I don't see why anyone wouldn't, wouldn't go do this, all right? You might learn a few things and you might learn that you really wanna be there or maybe you might learn that you want to find another one, okay? So this this is just great things to do. Um, I know in a lot of places, they'll meet in pubs and things like that to play music. And that's a very common thing in a lot of places. Not really here where I'm at, but that's, that's fine. There is an Irish pub in the town over, and they'll do a trad night where, where people play. And that's pretty cool. But they're playing Irish traditional music. And if, it, if that's your thing... Get in there, right? Go to the pub and listen and talk to people. Enjoy it. Learn what to learn. All right? Uh, so, yeah, go and find out what's going to be the jam for you. Then get back home and do your homework. You've written down some songs. Go learn those songs. That's all there is to it. And you know what? You can show up the very next week and listen again. Or, of course, if you're ready and you feel comf confident enough and comfortable enough, you can bring your instrument and maybe do some chords to back up what they're playing if you know the chords, okay? Now, what are some things you can do when you think you're ready but you're not sure, okay? Number one, timing, timing, timing. Check your timing. So, go and play to a backing track, play to a metronome, play to a drum track, whatever you have and can find. I have TEF files on my website. Play to those because they're in time at any BPM you choose, okay? Um, check your timing. Be able to play through the song several times through without stopping at whatever BPM you're at, okay? Now, you gotta realize that jam sessions are not going to stop 
just for you. You are not special, okay? You are attending their jam session. You need to learn and understand this right now. You need to be respectful. And you, it is your job to come up to their speed, not their job to stop everything they're doing and come down to your speed. And there are people out there, and this is not everybody, but there are people, and I've seen them, that's what they expect. And they're not, they're not, I don't know. They, they have a hard time fitting in at a jam session, okay? You need to realize that these people get together to enjoy themselves and have fun. They may not want to slow down. They might want to slow down. They might really try to include you, but they might not. And you need to learn that lesson. And I learned that lesson uh, really quite early on and um, actually got really snubbed at some jam sessions. And um, it wasn't because I couldn't play as fast as them. They just, I don't know. They didn't like me for some reason, but that's okay. Uh, that wasn't a fit for me. That jam session wasn't a fit for me, was it? No. So you might encounter that and you need to understand that it's okay. And you need to understand that it might be your problem. And that you need to understand that it also might be that they just didn't really want a new member in their jam session. All this is okay, either way. But you gotta understand this, okay? And this, this makes people afraid to go out and try, and I understand that. But you know what? You put your big boy and big girl britches on and do it. You need to be playing with other, other, uh, other musicians, okay? So you need to find these jam sessions, seek them out, or seek out other like-minded players to you and uh, have a little session. I've done things uh, and created my own jam sessions before in the past. Long ago, it was Craigslist. Um, I We were living in Orlando for my husband's work, and I put an ad on Craigslist that said, here's what kind of jam I'm having. It's at this address. Come on. Every week, people showed up to the point where we uh, had five pretty much core members that showed up, and we started a little band, and it was a lot of fun. We played a couple of gigs and everything. It was a lot of fun. But I've also started up groups at churches. And I'm currently in a group at church. And it's a very small group. There's only three of us. You probably have seen those videos. But we play every week and we practice every week as well. And we love it. So you can find these things or start these things up. But you need to have timing in order to do that. And if you don't have good timing, you're not going to be successful. So you need to really spend time working on that. Another excellent tool is Strum Machine. And if you don't know anything about that, I've got it all over my website and I talk about it a lot, okay? Because I love it and it's a great tool. But that uh, that will get you ready to go to a jam session as well. Um, so work on your timing. Then get your, you know, get those songs that you wrote down. You know, and yeah, you might have wrote down 10 or 15 songs. Well, you know, you're not going to learn all 10 or 15 that quick. It's going to take you a little bit of time. But you can learn the chords to two songs in a week. You can do it to where you can play back up to what they're doing. Okay. Now, this brings me to the next thing. The number one most annoying thing at a jam, and I believe everybody would tell you the same thing here that's the loud player okay i don't know what's going on i don't know why people are like this but on any instrument you play you are in control of the volume of that instrument the volume that outputs from it to a certain degree i'm talking about only acoustic instruments here but you're in control of that okay and you say, no, I can only do it like this. No, that's not true. You haven't played enough yet then if you can't control your volume. You need to be able to play a little louder and you need to be able to play a little quieter. And you also need to realize when you're doing something like that, you need to realize I'm playing this kind of loud. Let me try to play it a little softer. Let me try to play it a little louder. Oh, here's this section. Let me try to play the chorus louder, whatever. When you get to a jam session, do not be that loud player who's playing 
the wrong cord, off time, stuff like that. Okay, that, that's a jam killer. People do not like that at all. And I don't blame them, okay? Um, so when you go to that jam, if you are not familiar with the song, you're, you shouldn't be in the front of that circle, okay? You got a jam circle happening. You shouldn't be in the front, okay? You're not the most important thing there, all right? You should be a background person. So you're around the second layer or third layer, okay? And you are doing this most of the time, okay? And you might be playing softly because you're not confident yet. You don't know all the songs yet or even that song all the way through yet. And you need to learn this too. When they're playing a song you don't know, maybe just don't play it. Maybe just listen. Mute your instrument. Just have your hand there on it. And you're listening. Yeah, I like this. But you're actively listening. You are picking up patterns that you hear when a song repeats. That melody will repeat. If it's a fiddle tune, you've got an A, a part twice, B part twice. Something like that, right? Pick up on these things. Take a mental note of that. Also, learn the chords. You can learn the chords by looking at other instruments play. Got lots of videos on this too. Watch the guitar and how to do that. Um, so you don't want to be that one annoying thing at the jam session. You know, those are the most important things I can tell you here about a jam session. Please don't show up and, and do these things, okay? Have respect for other people. And yes, you want to have fun too, but that doesn't mean you've got to blast your instrument. Okay, you can have fun learning and that's what you're doing it here. Your whole goal here is to learn, right? You're learning, you're listening. And I, I tell you, there is nothing ever that I can think of that is better than playing with other musicians for learning. You will learn so fast. You will pick up stuff so much faster in that environment, okay? and my perfect environment is just a small circle with four or five musicians. More than that, it gets to be a little much. But man, and that's just my personal preference. Other people have different personal preferences. But mine is just like a five-piece thing. Oh, where no, there's no two instruments that are the same. If there is, there's a rhythm and a lead guitar kind of thing happening. Somebody's always keeping down that rhythm. But Oh, there's nothing better. There's nothing better than that, okay? So you want to work towards getting out there and doing that. And, you know, lots of people play at home and play alone, and they say, I'm never going to go out and play, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, maybe this isn't for you then. You know, maybe this video is not for you. Um, I've got a character at the window making faces at me. And it's not Amber, it's John. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay, I wanted to make this kind of short. So I hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. I hope you learned something from this, okay? Um, that's why I'm here and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to teach you things that I've learned, okay, over the years. Um, so yeah, okay. Until we meet again, always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.